Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to make a quick video today on clay masks or basically masks that kind of dries our heart. So I have uh, four, this Freeman clay mask avocado and then this Queen Halloween um, the Man Jewel mask and then the Elizabeth Arden hydrating mask and then also this Michael Todd pearl and silk uh, facial mask so I'm gonna just kind of review them and then tell you what I like and don't like so in comparison with these two because they're the most similar to each other I would definitely take the mint mask over this um, clay mask because I feel like this has better ingredients in it like when I use this mask it kind of broke me out a little bit and it kind of smelled a little bit weird um, I think I mean it's fragr if it's fragranced, but at the same time, um, I I don't really like the smell of this mask. And this one is a little bit fragranced, but it's less, and it just kind of tingles more, maybe because of the mint. And um, they are kind of similar with each other. And then when you put it on, it's this like grayish, bluish color. But I find this to work better for my face. Um, and. In comparison, I like this mask a lot better. Um, I just feel like this one has um, maybe more like ingredients in it, um, and I don't find it to be as as effective, like cleaning out my pores than this one. Um, yeah, that's just my thoughts. I just find this mask to be better than this one. Um, and then let's see. For this Elizabeth Arden Hydrating Mask, I do highly, highly recommend because it is very, very hydrating. It has a lot of, I think, like kiwi fruit, cucumber fruit, sheer butter. Like it feels real good on, um, on your face and after you take it off, you really feel a difference. Like your skin feels really hydrated and... Um, and then the thing that I don't like about this mask is that when you put it on, it kind of stings my eyes. And that's kind of an indicator that I know there's a lot of ingredients in it that's probably not very natural. That's why. And when I use any of these masks, it doesn't really sting my eye. Like, I mean, I don't put it, like, you know, I put it kind of around my eye. I don't even go that near my eye, you know. I just kind of put it, like, you know, outside. Not even anywhere close to my eyes. But... I just feel like the fact that you have something on your face, you know, you can feel it or your eyes can feel it. So it just kind of makes me teary a little bit. Um, and then lastly, it's going to be this Pearl Silk Facial Mask. And I have to say, I'm very, very impressed. I got this recently and last week was the first time I used it. I noticed that it really does um, make your skin kind of more taut it's a pearl and silk so that i think there's pearl and silk essence in it so first thing i noticed when you put it on your skin feels like the the um the mask it's just super smooth and pearly like and when you let it set it dries a little bit and you can touch your face and it feels just like outside of a pearl like the shell like how um like, you know how inside the shell of the pearl it's super smooth like that? It just feels like that. And I think they grind up the pearl powder or something. I don't know. But it really, really just is so smooth like that. It's so crazy. It's like you're, you're touching um, a pearl, you know. And it dries like that. So, and then it's kind of satining and, you know, and then super, like, um smooth like that and then it, you kind of feel your skin tightening and then when you remove it it does feel like your skin kind of looks a little bit younger it just is pretty amazing and i think this has a lot of um organic products in here and um i mean this is a very good brand mango toss so i know the ingredients are much more organic because they have organic aloe uh, witch hazel and all kinds of stuff so it definitely feels really super nice on my skin. So I highly recommend this one. And I think this one does what it says to do. And this one definitely is 
you know, good for its purposes. So I guess um, the only mask I wouldn't recommend, maybe it's just me, is this one. Even though I think a lot of people like this Freeman, but I'm not a huge fan of this Freeman mask. And I actually have tried um, the peel off mask before. I don't have it anymore and I didn't like it either. I just find it to sting my eyes for the same reason. Maybe I'm just allergic to this mask. So that's it and I don't want to make this video too long. And thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video. And subscribe to my channel for future videos. See you guys next time. Bye.